Okay. Good morning, all. Uh, I am Dr. Chandrasekhar Pagasnali, uh, Assistant Professor, Civil Engineering Department, BM Institute of Technology and Management, Bangalore. Today, I am going to discuss and explain about the uh, microgroup of minerals. Uh, <coughs> this this about uh, there are two varieties of mica. So one is muscovite mica and another one is a biotite mica. This is a biotite mica. It's a black color and this is called a muscovite mica. And uh, what are the physical properties of these uh, uh, minerals, mica group of minerals? And this uh, form is a tabular forms. What do you mean by tabular forms? These two minerals are looks like the table shape or the flat. That's why we call it as a, a tabular form, flaky or platy types. Okay. So one is this is a black color and this one is called a, a, a white color. This is muscovite mica and this is a biotite mica. Black color is the biotite mica and white one is the muscovite mica. And the streak will be the white, completely white for this. When you rub with the streak plate, it gives us the uh, white color. Okay. The luster will be the vitreous. So there is a shining nature in the surface of the minerals. That's why we call it as a uh, vitreous luster and uh, diaphanity. Diaphanity, especially in the uh, biotite mica, there is a translucent. It's a partially transferring the light through these minerals. But whereas in the muscovite mica, the light will transfer 100%. That's why we call it as a transparent. Diaphanity will be the transparent. Okay and uh, cleavages are perfect. What do you mean by cleavages? The weaker zones in the minerals. So when you break these minerals, you can see this, uh, it, there will be a perfect, uh, what you call this uh, fracture. The perfect breaking will be there, okay? The fracture, when you break the minerals, it will break along the cleavages, where there is a weaker zones, okay? That's called the uh, fracture, okay? And hardness, hardness is very low, less hardness. It may be the two to one to two. It's a very less hardness. Okay, but harder than talc. Talc is a you know the weakest one, and very uh, the hardness is only one. And uh, specific gravity is two point two to three. And uh, this uh, occurrence it occurs in a common igneous rocks. Okay. In igneous rocks, especially in the uh, mm, almost all in the uh, ultra basic rocks, also you can see this. Okay, and uh, this uses of this uh, mica. So generally, we use this mica, especially for the <coughs> we use this mica for electrical industries because it is having the high heat resistance. It is having the high heat resistance capacity. Okay. That's why we use this mica in the, uh, what you, especially for electrical industries. So in the routine life, we use this uh, in the, you know, what you call in the iron box. So the power is not directly connecting to the, you know, bottom of the plate. In between the, uh, there will be a mica plate will be there. So because of this high heat resistance property, which is having in the uh, mica group of minerals, so we use this in, uh, especially in the electrical industries. This is all the physical properties of uh, mica group of minerals. So almost all this, uh, the bitet mica and muscovite mica available in the...